Good morning from my second day here in here in Cyrus. It's currently around five something a.m. and I'm on my way to well get some sunrise footage, maybe some pictures as well. Basically, uh, I follow this guy on YouTube, Brandon Venson. I'm sure you've heard of him, but he's a trail photographer, and I remember he came here like maybe a year ago or so, and yeah, he took a few pictures of like uh, the waterfront down somewhere over there and yeah that's where I'm going right now hoping to find like the same spot or a, a similar spot so you can take some pictures from there so yeah, it's gonna be around maybe 30 40 minutes until sun rise so I'm gonna walk around to see if I can find a good spot to shoot some pictures and uh, yeah let's go To the spot where I wanted to shoot from. So this is, I think you call this the Isteria beach. So it's one of the, or it's probably the only beach more or less in this town. You can actually go for a swim here as well from this platform which is, and the water looks very clean. Right now what I'm gonna be shooting is the kind of cathedral behind me and like the city. The light is turning into like a nice little pink right now, like a nice little purple. And yeah, I'm just gonna shoot until sunrise, see maybe, hopefully get some good sunrise lights. finished now with the shoot. I think I got some, well, maybe one or two cool pictures. And there were also a bunch of old guys out for a swim who I'm gonna talk to for a little bit while. Yeah, the water was pretty, really nice. Like, I think you can swim pretty nicely in there. Wish we had more time on the island so we can, could maybe go for a dip. And yeah, right now I'm just walking back to the hostel. Uh, I think today we're just gonna continue, maybe go do some so shopping on the island. We have to get our tickets for the ferry. And it's gonna be it. In like three hours we're gonna leave. So not a lot more to see here on Ceros, unfortunately. Uh, it's a really nice island, I wish we could spend more time here. And yeah, then we're gonna continue onwards to Kea, which is even more rural and even less people than here. So yeah, see you on the ferry then.
so we just made it to K Island, took like maybe four and a half hours by ferry. We just checked into our, Air our Airbnb, so I'm gonna give you a small tour because this place is really, really nice. So bedroom, you know, nothing special, nice bed, got a mosquito net, which is nice. You don't get mosquitoes in here. We have the main room, which is pretty cute. It has you have this like bed sofa over here. You got like some cute accessory. You got I don't know what this is. I think this is like notes from other people. And you got the kitchen. I have to watch out to not bump my head here. Um, yeah, pretty standard stuff. You got some appliances, some like an oven, which is nice, I guess. Fridge. We got free water. Then you have the bathroom if you can find the light somewhere sure like this this is the bathroom looks pretty pretty cool it's kind of made out of stone standard stuff but now it's now today real real why the real reason why i chose this apartment it's this view so we have this awesome balcony here we got some nice chairs a table and then you got this Really, really, really beautiful view over well, the whole town. You got a view over out on the sea. I think behind that you can actually already see Athens over there. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's a pretty cool Tea place. Time. And we also got a free cake. Without tea. Yeah, free cake from the owner <laughs> of the, the Airbnb. So that's our Airbnb. I think we're paying like 50 euro per night, which is pretty good for two people. For two people, and I think it's worth. It's definitely worth it. So. We're just gonna chill out a bit because the hike here was quite quite a hike, yeah. And yeah, then once we are done here, we're gonna probably go for more hiking and swimming as well. Hopefully, we can make it down to the ocean. Also, we wanna figure out the bus schedules, but yeah, let's relax a bit and then. Unfortunately, there were no buses running today or tomorrow, so they only have buses here on the weekend. And yeah, as such, we are today we're gonna, as it's already like four or past four p.m. Today we're just gonna explore the like the old town here. Maybe go for a short hike to the uh, Lion Head. It's kind of famous here, <laughs> and uh, you'll see why we are laughing. And then yeah, tomorrow we're just gonna do like a longer one-day hike, basically down to the beaches. Fortunately, and then we're gonna go for a swim. Right now we are basically, we are in the castle area. So there's like an old Venetian castle from the, I think 12th century here. And we're gonna check out and also some other parts of the city. And then we're gonna go for a hike. 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 short update we were not able to find the the right track so yeah no hiking today but yeah instead we just walked around a bit and I also flew my drone kind of through this window to get a shot which I can show you now and also it almost crashed against this wall yeah because what happened was the drone was flying from inside the house so it had the maximum setting of it has a maximum height setting of 120 meters and because it, it was flying from inside, it, the sensor didn't realize that it's so high up here, obviously, that it just kind of fell, thought it's already too high. So it went down, 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 down. And as I was trying to get it back, it just flew into the wall a little bit. But I think it's fine, so I'm gonna be able to fly it tomorrow. Yeah. 
about to get dressed, or I'm already dressed. Julie's about to get dressed and dry her hair. And then we are out to go for dinner. Probably maybe on that terrace over there. Maybe in another spot. We'll see. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be it for today. And then see you tomorrow. Where we're gonna go for a hike and a swim in one of the many hiking places here in Kea. Thank you.